out of every tragedy, there's more goodness that comes out of it. You know, when you, like these earthquakes or the shooting that just happened, you know, in Vegas. Look at all these people that have come up to give blood. I mean, they said that it, the line goes for blocks, you know, and they're doing it for people they don't even know. You only hear about the bad guys and you only hear about the tragedy, but you don't always hear about all the goodness that comes out of it. And I always say there's more good than evil out there. I told Nancy, that I was my wife, that I, I was going to try out this church, and she was never real big on church. And uh, she says, well, I'll go with you. And we haven't hardly missed a day since. It was nice to see a church that was not only doing things for the church and the people in the church, but also the community, and that's what we really liked about this place. It happened the morning after we helped with the foster bags. And about uh, nine o'clock, I got a phone call from a friend of mine who works at Whittier. I go, hey, Todd, what's up? He goes, Keith's been shot. And so he says, uh, you're gonna have to go to the hospital. He's my stepson. He's been in my life for 30, 34 years. He accepted me into the family from the very beginning. We were close. I don't know how anybody could go through what we did without having uh, Jesus in your heart or believing there was a better place after this. And knowing that Keith was a Christian and his strong belief system, that, that was the only thing that got me through it. We got so much support from the community, the church, and the police department and stuff. I had a kid from the scar, he's come to my house, and he says, we brought you some, some food. And I says, oh, thank you. And I says, oh, that's very nice of you. And he goes, do you mind if I pray with you? And it took me back, he was a young, young guy. He seemed like he was in high school. When he got done, I asked him, I says, where do you go to church? And he goes, whack. And right after that happened, I hear somebody standing behind me, one of the big officers. I go to WAC also. It's almost like people from WAC are like undercover. I was so glad that we found out we were gonna get the viewing here. And then when the officers all started coming in, it was like, oh my God, there's so many. It was like sharing part of our home with everybody else. We lost our son, but we just gained another 125 or 126 kids because they are definitely like our sons and daughters. I would have loved to have the, the memorial service here at WAC, but because of the size of it, there was just no way. Because it wasn't big enough here, or they would have probably had it here too. The help that WAC, the way they treat people, the way they act, it's like the community needs us. The more people that can come here, the more it can get grace and get blessed like I have.